in Excel 365, we got a few new formulas that behave in a array, array way and they actually can perform the operations we did manually uh, within this number five uh, exercise. And they are filtering uh, functions, sorting functions and unique functions. And we will do also some more exercises on Excel array formulas to see what's their new behavior in Excel 365. So we will start now with the filter operation, filter formula. Uh, and we would like to filter the table that we see in here just to find uh, the rows where the order quantity is greater than 80. So we start with the filter formula. Let's have a look on the arguments. We have the array. This is like the table we are working in. The include means we need to give here a condition like it should be greater than 80 and we hit OK to get the end result and see the table. We won't see the headings, so we can copy them from the initial table. But now you can see that the formula works. What is really interesting and crucial when we change the rows uh, to give uh, the value that meets the condition, you can see that the formula recalculates and increases number of rows returned by, by the formula. So this is quite important in the behavior of all of the array formulas that you can find in here. The array formula is highlighted by the blue rectangle and you can see that uh, the formula bar is active uh, in the first cell, but in the other cells it is like disabled in here and uh, it seems to be empty. So what you do is you actually edit only the first cell in here. In the second exercise, we need to refer to the F1 cell. So the beginning of the exercise will be very similar. We have an array in here. We will work on the E column, but this time we refer to a cell. And uh, when I hit enter it will work even though i don't use dollars in here so you can see that this becomes static at some point of calculation and uh, all of the cells remaining cells refer to exactly the same formula in here what about using tables it's actually even better when using the uh, array formulas and tables because table might increase uh, as regards number of rows or decrease and we will automatically get the new range of cells. So when you create an array in here, you actually try to select the whole table and then you include the whole column and give the condition like it should be greater than 80. And you will see that it works, but this time whenever we add new rows compared to the exercise number one, we increase the number of rows of a table and we also add new rows to the filtering, filtering function. What if you had multiple conditions? Then you can once again use the filter operation, select your array and then multiply a single conditions to create an end operator, which means let's take the year from the order date and it should be equal e2 and then let's multiply it by the order priority which should be equal to high because this separate conditions need to be uh, calculated first we will use additional brackets in here and when we close the filtering operation you can see the high order priority and if we select the proper short date format, you can see the year equals to 2012. If you try to filter your table and the condition is not met, like in here, the order quantity should be greater than 200, you will get an, a new error, which is called the calc error. But to avoid it, you can use the third argument of the filter operation, which is what should be the value if it's empty? And we can say here, it should be none. And this is how you can support your filter uh, formula with a kind of if error condition. What about sorting? 
you can use the next array formula which is called sort select your cells and when you by default hit enter you will see the dates in here uh, all of the array formulas don't inherit the um, yeah, formatting but you can apply it uh, separately and you will see that the data is sorted in ascending order what if your table contains multiple columns? You can once again use the sort formula, but this time you can say, I have two columns in here, so sort by the second column. This is the second argument of this formula. And once again, you will see that the data is sorted by my date order date. The next argument of the sort formula allows you to specify the sort order. And as you can read in the documentation, uh, the default is ascending, but you can set it also as minus one, which is the descending. And this is what we are going to do now. And when you hit OK, you will see dates sorted by the descending order. If you had a table, you can perform sorting operation in the exactly the same manner. So you select the table, then you say we would like to sort by the fifth column in here and the sort order is descending and when you hit OK you'll get orders sorted by the order quantity. From the sorting exercises you might recall that we have the custom sort that which allows you to sort on multiple levels and this is something that can be performed but this time by the sort by um, formula which will take your table and ask you for the uh, other columns that should be sorted like we will start with the region column and it should be sorted in the alphabetical order so ascending and then the second one should be the order date and this time this is descending order so minus one and we can of course add multiple conditions in there and when you hit ok and apply the date format in here you will see that we sort alphabetically by regions, but then within each region, we can see the dates from newest uh, to the oldest. When performing the remove duplicates operations from the data tab, we saw we can do it on the data itself, but what we can do is we can also use the new unique formula to perform exactly the same operations as an array formula. We use the unique formula, add just the column we would like to work on, and once we hit enter, we get a list of unique order numbers. If we apply the unique formula to an array that contains two columns, you will see that we get the unique combination of both. So this time uh, for the order with the ending 23, we see both of the salespeople in here. This formula has also one fancy setting which allows you to take your array, like in here the order ID, and uh, use the exact ones, uh, exactly once uh, argument. The second argument is to change from working in rows into columns, but this is really the, the case. So what we would like to concentrate on is the exactly once, which is in general, uh, if you omit it, it's just the distinct item list, but we can also say it should be true so return items that appear exactly once and once we hit OK, we actually get the list of no duplicates in here. In the last exercise, we can have a look on the general behavior of all of the uh, Excel formulas. And if we would like to get uh, the right formula inserted on the order numbers, order IDs, and we will just pick six characters, you can see that Actually, the formula takes into consideration the whole column. And if I apply it like this, you can see a bunch of rows in here. This would be exactly the same if we had no table and we would just say, let's take a right from B9 cell up to B31 cell and take six characters. This would work exactly the same. It, it's not the table property, but it's like the way a new Excel formulas behave. Any formula might become an array formula. 
and we will have a look how to get in touch with this kind of formula. So let's create uh, the unique number of order IDs and we'll have the unique formula. And now I would like to connect my right formula to the one to the unique formula that I have prepared. So we can use the right formula and now we would like to use it on the whole K column. And you can see that when I select the K column and the whole range that comes out of the unique formula, uh, you can see a hash symbol in here, uh, which says, this is actually an array result and it might be different in the next uh, refreshment. So let's uh, apply it to the whole array. And when I hit enter, you can see that uh, the result uh, is tied to this array formula. And whenever something new appears, like the number of order uh, distinct order IDs will decrease, you will see uh, that these uh, formulas work together. There is one more thing that uh, is important if I would copy this formula and I would place it above so that the formula has no place to spill over, you can see the new spill error which says it's like a conflict between your current cells and the array formula uh, and you need to you need to remove some of the cells or move them uh, somewhere uh, somewhere else.